My name is Bill Green, and I'm going to show you how to do my famous butternut squash pie. This butternut squash, we're making this butternut squash pie. Most people don't know what to do with them. But you cut it up in these chunks like this, and you use about four quarts of water. Add a little salt and pepper to the water. You're boiling for about 15, 20 minutes until it gets tender. Then when it gets tender, you pull the skins off it. We got some vanilla. Oh, that's bring the flavor out and got some cinnamon and nutmeg. And then don't forget your butter. You add that into it. Now with that, I would have to put a bind in it. Once I mash it and put it all together, I would have to, have to add a little all-purpose flour, a binder that really helps pull it together. Man, and you can have something good. This the squash. We got this little chunk, we brought it to a boil. And that's the way it look. We, we boil it with a little salt and pepper to get your to get the squash ready to accept the flavor, to accept all of the spices that we can put in there, the flavors we put into it. Take it out, strain it out, pull the skin off it, and start mashing it and get ready to make your pie. I let this squash cool down now. I just take all the peel of it, got it in this bowl. Now I'm letting it cool down. Now I'm going to add the butter to it. I'm going to add about a stick of butter. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to mash it in and get it mixed in real good. Oh boy. You get it in. Mash it in. Get it all the way through. All the way through. Oh, it's so good. Ooh, you can smell it right now. You know how good this pie is. This is the Cadillac of the pies, the butternut squash pie. Most people look at it all the time in the store and don't know what to do with it. But I'm gonna show you what to do with it today. I'm gonna add two teaspoons of cinnamon. Mash this in. Put a bit of teaspoon of nutmeg into it. And now, now we can put in a teaspoon of vanilla. All right, we want to put in a half a cup of light brown sugar into it. And we'll stir that and see how see what it tastes like. Oh, I'm gonna taste this and find out if I need any more sweetness to it. Oh, I think I need to use the rest of the sugar. It's gonna take about a cup of sugar, and I think we should have it right. You know, this what this what it's all about. The freehand cooking, you know. You got to work with me just a little bit because I'm used to freehand cooking. And I'm trying to make it where everybody will be able to understand it. So I use a spoon, but that's what it's all about. You know, you got to go by the eyeball, the feeling, the taste, and all of that. And make sure you got them right. But I, most of the time when I come in freehand cooking, I can just throw it together and bam, they got them right. I'm going to taste it one more time. Oh, uh -huh, that's pretty good there. Now, now I'm going to add the binder to it. And I'm gonna add about four, I'm gonna do four teaspoons of all purpose flour first, spread it in it. And now I gonna stir this and see if I got the right consistency, if it's right for me before I put it in the shell. You can see him start pulling himself together. Ooh, look at that, look at that. All right, I already touch it up a little bit more and taste it. You can add a little bit more vanilla if you want, add a little more nutmeg if you want, add a little bit more cinnamon if you like. And now you're getting ready to put it in the shell. Oh boy. Now, if you like making your own crust, you could go for it. You could do special deal on it. Now we're getting ready to put it in the oven. You can get the furniture in touch. We can put them in the oven on the 350 for about 30 minutes. 
and we gonna have this deal together here today. Woo! There you go, you just had some delicious butternut squash pie. See you next time, friends of mine.